take on. So I'd like to carry on uh, with this talking of sine wave. So we look at the parallel stance bunch. Now we look at the walking stance. We look at stationary first of all. Okay, so we take our walking stance and we look at the down, up and down. There's a slight forwards and backwards movement. We look at where we pivot, the knee or the, uh, the, the, the ankle or the knee. So if I pivot at the ankle predominantly, I will mainly go forwards and backwards. If I work at the knee, I'll predominantly go down and up and down. So this is a more uh, suitable down, up and down in many situations. So here, the sine wave, we go down, we come up and we go down. That's the basic application. What we're doing here, I'll change slightly, is you need to time. So this over-exaggeration is getting the timing right of your hand technique and your, and your sign wave. So this is looking at low block. So I go down, bringing the hands together, and then go up, so there's a sign wave, and then down. Making sure the heel and the hand finish together. This is what the, the sine wave is doing. You utilize it, the downward action at the moment of impact with the block. So it's down, up, down. Down, up, down. That's basically it. However, when you do it faster, it's again shorter and sharper with the heel motion. It's just take the tension off, so you activate, you're in this activation mode. When you're activated, you can move anyway. You can move where you want to move. So this is where your core muscles are activated to your thighs. So here, so down, up, down, is all you need when you're moving with the block. So it's more faster motion. It happens up and down. So this is stationary. Now stepping. Stepping one sine wave per movement. We see a lot of times people stop halfway through. The halfway through stop is around where you're teaching a beginner to move, to check alignments. For instance here, get yourself ready to step and punch, come up, check, check your balance, now punch. So naturally we create, instructors, a sine wave. But I see students going a double dip if you like. But the movement should be one smooth movement from the start. So it comes down as you're starting to activate. You're activating your muscles, remember, we saw previously. Draw in, which brings you up, and now bring out, and punch. So you want your punch to be held back a little bit till your foot's maybe half to three quarters of the range of its step going forwards. So something like this as you come, then when it comes to down here, now accelerate. So you get your uh, hand, and foot finished together. Okay, so there's a, a, a tip, if you like, to try and help you improve your sine wave. Okay? Take one. 